And the trial focuses on patients who have spinal cord injury. And so a typically a trauma, a car accident, um, it could be a sporting accident that results in a significant spinal cord injury and the patients, you know, in many cases, as you know, become paralyzed. Um, those patients currently undergo surgery and physical therapy or supportive care. Um, and that's about where the treatment stops. And so in this trial, what we did is we augmented their recovery with stem cells. And so we uh, provided a, a stem cell injection to see if we could further enhance and uh, augment their physical function. When you look at other diseases, take a look at cancer, where the treatments um, are, you know, not that long ago, the treatments were not very sophisticated. And then we started to see surgery, surgery and radiation, surgery and radiation, and chemotherapy. Today, we have surgery and radiation and chemotherapy and gene therapy. And there's a lot of cancers where um, the diagnosis would have been a fatal one a number of years ago, where today people are living many years and in some cases even longer. And so the question is, can we do something similar in spinal cord injury, create a paradigm of treatments that augment one another? And so those treatments would be surgery, physical therapy, of course, but are there other things that we can add? People talk about stimulation. I also think regenerative medicine, stem cell therapy is going to be a very important component of that. Our patients are always looking for a cure. We're not there today, but we have to continue this research in order to get there. And this is a disease that's been very, very stubborn over time. Um, you know, textbooks from not that long ago uh, have comments in them like, this is not a disease worth treating. The patient will not get better, will not improve, you know, things like that. And so it's important to first challenge that and second, offer scientific alternatives to that that ultimately become medical treatments.